What the Boy Took The boy wanted money, a boat, and a home. When the tree gave him those, the boy left her alone. He sold the apples for pennies and sailed to new lands. Heart lusty with greed, he hatched a new plan. He went to the farmers and the men at the store. He said, do you like money? I'll help you get more. You'll be rolling in cash, have more than you need. All you must do is cut down some trees. The men nodded and shook. A deal had been struck. Grabbing axes and saws, they started running amuck. One man, thinking hard, looked up as he said, But if we cut down the trees, the forest is dead. The boy gave a smile, his voice slick and persuasive. I know a tree, he said. She was happy to give. The men cut the forest and hunted the deer, until nothing was left, just their new, clear frontier. The men sold the wood and still wanted more, so they planted their fields, corn and soybeans galore. Chemicals helped the crops to grow quicker, so the men turned aside as the earth quickly grew sicker. The bees went away and the summers grew hotter as algae and sludge soon took over the water. Some people noticed, and many protested, but the boy had become mayor and had them arrested. You're hindering progress, money, and power. And for what benefits? Some worms and a flower. But deep in his heart, the boy knew they were right. He and the men had created a blight. With much wealth and some guilt, the boy silently fled, as Earth's problems grew greater, deeper, widespread. He went into the forest and found the old stump. With a great sigh, he sat down on his rump. And the tree was happy and full of joy, for she had always wanted to see what had become of her boy. The end.